Welcome to the enigmatic realm of a black hole. But what is a black hole? A hole which is black? What? No, I mean, yeah, but black holes are regions in space where an enormous amount of mass is packed into a tiny volume. Like being able to stuff this into a box as small as this. Black holes form when massive stars die. It has concentrated mass at a point of infinite density called the singularity. At a distance from this, known as the Schwarzschild radius, is an imaginary spherical surface called the event horizon. The gravity of this surface is so great, nothing, not even light, can escape. In 1974, Stephen Hawking came along to propose that black holes aren't exactly black and that they emit particles known as the Hawking radiation. The idea of Hawking radiation is based on the fact that empty space isn't actually empty. The quantum fields which define them still exist in the vacuum of space. These fields create pairs of virtual particles, normally a particle-antiparticle pair that quickly annihilate each other. But near a black hole, it is possible that one member of the pair could fall into the black hole and be lost forever, while the other escapes as Hawking radiation. This leads Hawking to answer the question if black holes have a temperature, and the answer is yes. But oddly, black holes have a temperature which is inversely proportional to their mass. So higher the black hole's mass, the lower its energy release and temperature. So micro black holes are predicted to be larger emitters of radiation than larger black holes. But the universe can't routinely produce black holes smaller than 2.5 solar masses. So finding a very small black hole and being able to detect its radiation is not quite possible. One of the core principles of quantum mechanics states that information cannot be destroyed. But the Hawking radiation predicts that the black hole disappears along with all the information it has followed. But Hawking radiation remains a theoretical prediction. If it proves correct, it means that black holes might not be the end of stars.